आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली डिक्लेयर इट्स फर्म एंड सॉलम रिजॉल्व द ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स was introduced by Jawaharlal Nehru on 13th of December 1946 proclaim india as an independent sovereign republic and to draw up for her future governance a constitution this resolution was the reflection of aspirations of makers of the constitution and was later framed as the preamble of the indian constitution the assembly extensively debated the resolution between 16th and 19th of december the resolution was again taken up for discussion on the 21st of january 1947 during these deliberations the assembly discussed various aspects of the objectives resolution and the political context that surrounded it including the absence of princely states federalism minority rights and socio economic rights finally on the 22nd of january 1947 after due deliberations discussions and responses to various debates the president of the assembly dr rajendra prasad signaled to the members that the time had come to vote on the resolution he read out the resolution first in english then in hindi shri mohan lal saxena read out the urdu translation members of the assembly then voted in favor of the resolution and adopted it with all members standing the purpose of the resolution was to imagine a future direction of the republic of india the constitution was made by a few people but it was the constitution of every indian we the people of india the very first sentence of the preamble we the people of india tells a story about the efforts of the makers of the constitution to capture the aspirations of all indians and this story which was started by this resolution later became the world famous preamble of the constitution of india Today we also remember noted Gandhian freedom fighter and former bureaucrat Lakshmi Chand Jain who was born on 13th of December 1925 in Rajasthan while in his youth Lakshmi Chand took part in the Quit India movement during 1942 later in 1947 he was put in charge of the Kingsway camp in North Delhi which was a shelter for displaced persons He helped introduce cooperative societies for farming and cottage industries into rehabilitation camps. of india he joined the bureaucracy and served as a member of the planning commission as indian high commissioner to south africa as a member of the world commission on dams and as secretary of the indian cooperative union and the all india handicrafts board jain was one of the earliest cooperative leaders in the country and helped kamla devi chattopadhyay organize the indian cooperative union For his selfless commitment to attack India's poverty at the grassroots levels, Lakshmi Chand Jain was awarded the Magasese Award in 1988. In 2011, he was chosen posthumously for Padma Vibhushan by the government of India, but the family declined to accept the award since he had been against the concept of state honours. He died on the 14th of November 2010. in new delhi we salute this great indian and his love for the motherland that brings us to the end of this episode of azadi ka safar with air news see you in the next episode tomorrow <laughs>